This is uh, Caddy, my retired contest dog that I used for about six or seven years in the contest ring. And I'm going to show you how to do a wheat, the correct wheat and head on a, for a pet dog. I'm going to take a two guard from the corner of the eye to the corner of the ear. Take and knock this fault, come straight down on both sides. And then in order to get the rest of the head correctly, I hand scissor it all. I comb this straight up. I hold his ears up. Here, all right. Any hair hanging like with thinning shears, stop. And follow the same angle as the ears. That's going to set the length for the hair in between the ears. And it's already rounded. So now you can take the rest of the head. And this is already set in for you. So I'm going to come in here. And the top of the head is supposed to be a flat plane. So from the front of the ears to the eyebrows, approximately. And I'm going to blend the cheeks in. You're supposed to have a brick-shaped head, so you want a nice flat plane here. And that's about all I take off in front of the eye, too. Blend all your lines in with thinning shears. They're supposed to be nice and soft. And then the when you scissor the top of the head, you've also set in the length that you need for the crest. You can just follow that line straight down. here over to the side of the neck. These are great shears for getting bulk off. over it the smaller thinning shears to soften it. Double check you got a nice arch on the neck. I've already come in on his cheeks and taken some with a two guard and taken the hair off between the ear and the eye. Now I'm going to knock the bulk off of the crest. Some big heavy duty thinning shears. And then 
going to take cleaning shears and make sure that this is all blended in. And you want between the eye and the cheek a flat plane. Come in here and blend this in. And that's about all the hair I take off of the eye. And then I'm going to finish the ear. And I fold this ear over my finger. I'm going to take detailed thinning shears. Soften my clipper work, which I used a 7F blade on the outside, 40 on the inside, and I used small detail shears to edge the ear. Stick out these. Soft. We blend it in. And then from the front, double check in between the ears. We want a crescent shaped from the back tip of the ear to the back or where the fold is. And if you have anything sticking up, you can lightly hit it with your thinning shears. Double check the top of the head, and it's a flat plane. For a wheaten head, you need to have a crescent shape between the two ears, a flat plane on the top of the head. The head should be shaped like a brick, so you do want flat cheeks, nothing hanging past the cheekbone. That's you're going to use that for your guide. And your where your crescent is, that will blend into your neck. You don't need to leave a lot of neck hair. And I don't take a lot of length off of the fall for the eyes. Just blend that in. And that is how you would do the correct Wheaton head.